the fact I'm is, him, I'm gonna get him out. See sounds like a good plan. It gives me. I think I got it. One of the things I like about this bird, sure. uh, I he said, what what do you think the best is that's left? I said, there's a lot of things I like about this bird. He has a lot going for him, but he has a lot of faults. Uh, he's the uh, best bird I've had in the last 25 years. He hasn't had any in the last 25 years. <laughs> but but uh, he looked him over and he said, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, he was able to get a couple of very nice hens. One was a silver gray because he would get red. He and Mrs. Silver Gray, but he'd get pure red daughters out of her, and he understood that they were ready to go. If you go the other way with Silver Gray a male on reds, you usually have to go back to Silver Gray one or two more times to get a finished bird. You will get finished red bullets the first cross. Okay. And so the male was good. Better. And he started a family that the next year he beat me. Uh, that's what you want. You want, to, you want to be able to prove. Uh, and I kind of feel that way about that bird. If you don't have any reds, you damn good bird. Uh, it's all relative. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's got double spurs too. Yeah. Well, that's right. Is he related to? Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I think that bird, uh, uh, he, he was made it to mostly reds and a silver gray. Sure, sure. And sure. half of the, yeah. half of the uh, red hen chicks on average yeah. should be reds. Oh, okay. But, yeah, I, uh, I do think that bird, that bird, and that bird are the best. Uh, birds that you get, I'll go over and tell you the faults if you want me to so you know things to look for not being in their offspring. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> unless you've got more questions about reds, what's the story on the golden grays? Uh, I like golden grays. I think they're beautiful. But Reds, they're not going to stand. I'm going to get a golden gray pullet. Now, the, right, the golden grays have one advantage, and that is over the years, many of them have been shown as colors. Yeah. Whatever you guys want to do. What do you want I wanted to hear what you wanted to hear what you kept saying. They've been shown as colors, but the main difference is a little bit of the, the red, the gold on the back a little bit? Or no, well, well black and striping in the hackle. Yeah. Yeah. Black striping in the hackle. And, and the hen is, the gold, uh, colored hen is very dark, and the golden gray hen is going to look more like <laughs> silver, uh, silver, silver gray. Okay. But the roosters look pretty close. Except for dark no, black, no? Uh, like black hackle, uh, like the big black stripe in the hackle and the saddle, and they've got a lot more black in the wing, I think, right, okay. Craig? So they're going to look like a... So they're gonna, the like the shade is probably the and that, same. And they're not supposed to have the white in the wings or no? Oh, yeah. They are supposed to have that. Because I know the same as the silver. Gray. Oh, okay, I see that. You, yeah, don't yeah. Want, you don't want the pure white wing feather like some of these guys are showing. Where, but, yeah, they have the light area. Uh, as a red has the red area, uh, they should have a uh, oh, straw or gold area. Yeah. The white area. Okay. <laughs> but uh, what do you think about the uh, the golden grays? I like the one now. The other looks unthrifty. <laughs> well, I think he's just been coming through a bolt. Yeah, he's got he feels yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, Give him some game bird feed for a yeah. little, yeah. little while. Some a little rooster while. booster. Or <laughs> Yeah, maybe even throw that green. I've used cat food for a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. uh, When I got hands that I need to lay for, to hatch and my fertility goes up, I go every morning and throw a handful of cat food in each pan and let them have it. Well, here's the thing. <coughs> Once there was the mad cow stuff, most of the poultry food that you get Right. There's no meat in it. No, and not. chickens are not vegetarian. No, right. they're not. They're uh, And I have 
used cat food to top dress my layers. Sure. Now, until so the one mill that I dealt with, Rhodes Mills made all kinds of feed, and they had a mill in Milton, uh, and then they had a mill in Sealandsburg, which was their home. Well, they sold the location in Milton because they got a lot of money, and then competition. They closed the mill, but they always made a breeding feed with lots of meat. Okay. When, they, when I couldn't get that anymore, I top dressed everything with cats. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, if she's out of bad, out of condition. She was, she was pretty. Oh, is this a collar? You said this is gold. She's out of. She came out of the of me, but you had told me two years ago that she was a golden gray. Yeah, she's. She's not exactly a golden gray. A golden gray is gray with red in them. See, over the years, crossed silver grays and colors. Certainly, silver grays and reds often. And she's essential. She's showing. Good shafting and so on, colored, but she's not marked like what I said was that she should be used in the golden gray mating. Okay. She's not really a golden gray hen, but she shows a lot of characteristics. A golden gray hen is silver and red on the shoulders. Okay. But she's a nice chick. If you look at those toes. Yeah. She's got she's bad out of condition, but she's got nice toes. So she's kind of in between a colored and a golden gray? No, she's in and a uh, golden, golden gray. gray. Got, so brand she's, a, she's a light red, basically. So put under a good male like this a specimen here on the end. You get get gray. Yeah. Just breed all the females back. Yeah. Probably for a couple of generations, you'd probably be doing pretty good. You'd have a nice male to take back over his mothers and grandmothers. And that, you know, that, you know as well as I do. That's how you're gonna. That's how a lot of people's gonna have to do it. If you're like me and you don't have room for five thousand pounds, you've got to do some rolling mating with it. Sure. And so you're gonna have to breed. Uh, you know, daughters and granddaughters back to dad, and yeah, then yeah. find a great grandson back to grandma and mom, right. and then keep it keep it trucking. Now, what, I, what I've got you to say is, you can get in trouble, but, but if you stay, keep one pan and go. Right. Oh, what I was going to say is, both Bruce Lentz and John Norris were big <laughs> proponents of rolling maidens, and the reason was that. Of people over the years say, Oh, I breed just the way you do, except each year I drop a generation. <laughs> You're not doing what I'm doing because the whole idea of rolling meetings is to maintain yeah. the superior birds for as long as they are viable and so on. Yep. And, and <laughs> so, uh, but at any rate, yeah, the, the rolling meetings work. Uh, and I've had a lot of people tell me, well, uh, yes, they work, but you can make uh, progress faster with other, well, true, but you're going to run out faster. If you do rolling matings right, you should never run out. What do you, can I have a question about rolling mating? What do you do in the third year of it, I guess? So, you know, you got... Okay, here, here's... You know what I'm saying? I got the first two. You know? What a rolling mating is two breeding pens. Yes. You breed <laughs> cox to pullets. You got it. And then at the end of the pens, your breeders are all cox and hens. Yes. While you separate, you put them together and you select the best. Uh, whether you're dealing with 10 or 20, whatever yes. you deal with. Yeah. Say you have, oh. say you're breeding with 10 hens. Now you've got 20 hens. Yes. You keep, you keep the best 10. Yeah, yeah. You keep the 
the okay. best two. Now you take your pullets and cockerels and select them, the best cocks, the best <laughs> The best bullets go <laughs> oh, Okay, so that's a rolling mate. I got it. Okay, so over time you're just gonna have a your flock of bullets <laughs> might sift through a little more, you know. Right. So right. is that what you do? Like, because I mean, if you keep, you know, let's just say you kept ten good hens, you know, they were they were older, right? And then that next year the bullets would be. <laughs> Become older, you know, you, yeah, you keep the best. As soon as the, the best. polls become older hands, they're yeah. the same group class as the yeah, old hands. Exactly. Older. <laughs> keep the best. You get the best of the best. The right. difficulty is yeah. when you have yeah. 10 amazing yeah. pullets yeah. and 10 amazing old hands. Right. And you're like, oh, who, who am I going to get rid of? And if you can't, but you do it, you can find someone that will pay you good money. That's fair. And it is interesting to see how the old hens progress. Like, oh wow, they really did turn out good or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> With Dorkins in particular, yeah. this was one hen that was just amazing. I I bought in 1967 before I graduated from high school a trio of colored Dorkins from Henry K. They were all colored though, right? All colored. Colored? Real sure, two colored hands. Yes. And <laughs> they were all, there were no cockles, no bullets. They were all at least a year old. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna take and this this not golden golden back. Yeah. But um we'll be back. Well at any rate. Should we bring you want to bring up females? What do you want us to do? Whatever you want to do. Do we need to cut out some pens or no? Are we just going to look at them? We need to start... Whoever wants to take red tongue, we need to start making some decisions about who... who red, right. So we can clear out some of the sure. pens. Then. Yeah. You guys really want the reds, right? Yeah, I, I, I was... I'm either interested in reds or golden grays, and I can... I, I don't know if I can read golden grays, reds, and light reds very easily all together without ruining the colors. I, you won't. Okay, so I could. My experience is you don't. Right. Well, you want to bring a red too, right? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take one of these home and one or two of the young ones home. Okay. Yeah, I've got a juvenile pen out back, and I I don't. Okay. It, the space okay. is unlimited. We'll I, I personally have can. a lot of reds already. Out running oh, on these big look pen. really nice. I, I don't know. I have sure. so many. I don't know. I, right. I, you're I probably. You think, unless you think I should. Well, how do these compare to your males in size? If I got about some, the same. They could. They're about the same. If, you, if there's something here that you don't have, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have. I, I feel like I'm doing okay with the reds. Yeah, so, I, I got yeah. a lot on the ground, and I like the rooster. Hang on, just a second. <laughs> do, do you have? Do you have plenty of? Uh, do you have plenty of extra males? Well, uh, yeah, I do right now. Do you? Yeah, I got. I still have. I, I, Could I, you eat I, a couple of them and take one home? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I called. Uh, I called all of them, and I have ten left that made the cut. Into sure. the last round of, you know. Yeah. So uh, well, I, I feel yeah. like I'm okay, and they they all. I mean, I think the, these guys are older, so my young cockerels don't quite have the big enough, as big of combs and stuff. Right. They're pretty. They're do, pretty do nice. Your, do your older males do? Yeah, I have two older males that do. Of course, mine probably and my they get a little frostbite on the the tips, you know, but. Uh, you, so you, they don't you, look, you but they're probably, big like that. Though. You would probably do well with a rose comb. Right. right. It's like, I figured but out. You're not going to be able to, you know, if you're going to show, you're not going to be able to show. Yeah, but yeah I don't care about show. I don't know what you think. About. <laughs> I don't care about showing. Sorry, I'm more of a farmer. Cuckoos. Cuckoos. My rose comb cuckoos are the best Dorkins I have on the farm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
but I ordered chicks from Thane Earl. And his birds were beautiful, but very small. Yeah, that's this right. This was when? Uh, back in the 70s. Back in the 70s. Yeah. yeah. And, oh yeah, Bruce Lentz, uh, A.J. Hunt. Oh, you should have seen him 40 years ago. Well, come on, guys. <laughs> but they were good. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Gertie's a little bigger. Maybe not as polished, uh, but the only ones, and I only got a couple of them, that were really good size and good type, good color, were from uh, Tom Cleesworth. Okay. Uh, he had told me, he said, I want to bring you some uh, cuckoo dorkies. Well, he never did. Uh, a couple of years, you know, he, he would come to Columbus and I would, but he he brought other things. And, and so when I went out to pick up the light grays, he sent me home with, I think, three and a uh, male. And I had, I had others at home. So you got a nice log at least. Yeah. And I, uh, but I took him home, and most of my hens went with him. And uh, but I always raise my colors in my. Uh, things were gross. Stephen and uh, they had them both together. No. When you make the first cross, <laughs> but if you select the be, you get to the point where the half looks like the regular. These are the only two old red hens I have. Darker red, but then I've got more pulses. But older, older red. Uh, this bird is good size. She is. She she was one. I, yeah, she's heavy. But do you see her color? How bricky the color is. Oh you yeah. That brick. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's the one on the right. Brick red. Yes. <laughs> Who wants the stip? The one on the left reminds me a lot of a picture that I have in my British Poker Standards book of a dark gray over from England. And she's got that nice, big, tall, but blocky. Yeah. And a real nice, square, you know, she's before she's Yeah, I, well. I like both of these pens, but the size and color for the skin is actually better with this hen. But the other one, I certainly wouldn't throw her out of a breeding event. The, the bricky one. Yeah. Yeah. And being my only two old females, that was my thought, so I'm not throwing them away yet. No, no, no. Yeah. <coughs> and now, but now I've got to start with, you know, with some of the, some of the Dick Horseman birds. You know, yeah. Okay, one side question, that is because I started, to, so on my, some of my pullets this year, I had some uh, green. What do you call yeah, you told me. Yeah, is that? Sheeny green. Sheeny green on like the, the wings a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's not bad not because bad. that'll give you. Uh, is it I don't like a think, male influence or something? Oh, well, it's a little influence the male. Yeah, okay. You want sheen on the male. I was wondering, is it a masculine yeah. thing? Yeah. You know, because you see a lot of green yeah. and roosters, right? You know? Yes, like, but, but it's, uh, you can get it on a hen, yeah. and I don't think you're going to be folded for that. If you're oh, really? They're okay. going to say, wow. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Have you ever seen that? In, in? Probably, yeah, but yeah. now that okay. you ask I mean, you know, when you breed about 80 or 100, you, there's, yeah. you're going to get a You get a lot of things, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right, and it's nice type and size. Now this will, this will sound awful, but this hen is closer to the standard, but really the color of this hen catches my eye. Me too. I like her redness. She's kind of brown. Yeah, and, and if, if in fact, well of course the red hens are brown. <laughs> brown, brown layers, if brown, in yeah. fact, uh, 
she had as good a stippling. Her stippling is there, but it's a little sparse and very small. Nice hair feathers. I like his type. Yeah, he is probably one of the, one of the better types of these birds. Okay. What red males? What do you think of the red males? What, what red males here are? They're all available. Uh, this one down here, did you already point at him? Yes. Okay, I looked at him and I thought he's but he's much to be appreciated. Much to be appreciated, and of course, uh, overall, I, uh, you know, you, you can say, well, that comb's not perfect. Well, no, my comb. The, uh, the fact is, he's got the type, the look, and so on. But yeah, uh, there's some nice things about that bird, but he's got the comb, the tail's not in great shape right now. The, for me, the green is this bird, that bird, and that bird. Okay, and I was thinking maybe fourth place. You know, this guy here, he's a little better than these other two here. You know, he, he's, he's kind of he's kind of next in the line after the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I don't like his comb. Right. He's got that big white feather. But he is not a bad bird. No. And he, uh... I thought his back... Well, you know, this one here kind of squares off a little better. I guess you can say I kind of yeah. didn't look at that very nice. Uh, his, his, uh, his coloring. Uh, here over the saddle and things is a little bit better. Well, maybe that one. Leonard Offit. I've been trying to think of his name. He's my friend. In, 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 and... Well up in his 80s, he still has a few, uh, and some of uh, some of the reds here. Oh yeah, they were really out. Oh no, six foot four thousand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> so, so Craig, your point is, it doesn't matter if you bring the families together, as long as you keep selecting the yes. same. That's the right. role. And, and also, if <coughs> you were raising ten a year to meet the family, I'd keep them separate. Yeah. Uh, you can separate, you can put them together if you need to. But if you have a flock with huge genetic diversity and good size, there's not much of an well, generally speaking, uh, I got a lot of families of silver grays, a lot of families of reds. The existing families of cuckoos, which weren't many, a fair number of families of colors, and yeah, they all came from one. Okay. I I think it's Even generally they came from a variety of I think it's generally helpful to ha know why you're putting them together, though. Yes. Yeah. Like I crossed the Catalina lines, and one was like super not vigorous, but had some better size and type that I just needed. Yeah. So if you know why you're doing it, you're more likely to not end up with a mess, and you'll end up more likely to end up with what you want. Okay. Like yeah. if you're just crossing them to cross them, that's why they recommend keeping them separate at first, yeah. so you can learn the line. And once you know its faults and weaknesses, then right. you'll know what you need to bring in, what so you don't need to bring yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. So many people will message me and say, oh, I need new blood. Yeah. Why? Yeah. You, I mean, did, yeah. your, like, did are, your only male die? Or? Are they not laying enough? Are, are you, you not getting fertility? Yeah. Are, yeah. There's re they just meat. feel like they need to bring in new blood because they don't know about the rolling mating and all that stuff. Chicken poultry as a whole can withstand good inbreeding or line breeding for many generations. Right? That's right. Okay. Thank you. I think it's always done Yeah. But yeah, but 
Okay, have we decided on the silver grip? Are you okay if I keep him? Oh, I'm ticked. <laughs> I can tell. Well, I'm really moved. Yeah. Um, I mean, I like both of these. They're solid. They're wide. Right. They um, both have weak press as far as color goes. Sorry, color. Okay. Now, the upside of that is. They have that white speckling. Right. The upside of that is it'll probably give you beautiful females. Sure. Uh, it'll give you a lot of males like this, but you like chicken. Um, <laughs> The, uh, the thing is, go home, raise them, and then you can get maybe a son out of him next year or the year after sure. to, to strengthen your male line. Right, right. Now, are you going to take both of those, or do you put a male there for somebody else if you want it? Is there a... Uh, what? And I've got I've got some young males from the McMurray birds. I've got three. I don't know if they're even worth keeping. I'll probably keep one as a backup silver gray. I would. Yeah, I might even keep two as backups. That's right. He would, but he'd be the boss this year, next year. Right. Um, if somebody would want to take the other one, uh, are you keeping two out of these? With this? I'll keep I'll keep him and one or two of my cockerels. I can even send one of the other cockerel home with you. Well, you've got an extra, and then that frees up one of these. And that's, it also just say. and it also gives yeah. you cockerel. <laughs> He's small, but he has a proper color problem. They, so a lot, all three of those little males. I think we can bring them up here in a bit, but all three of those little cockerels have red ticking in the shoulders. That's, that's the shitty part. Yeah, and I looked at their toe punch. They're out of their McMurray. They're not. They're not dark gray. Which kind of made me sad, but bullets look fair. Um, clean, well, at least not we'll have a door and, and, yeah. and it'll be yeah. silver gray. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'd love for someone else to take one home, but if they don't... <laughs> did, you, did you express interest in taking one of them home? You know... They're my blood. I can get back to this pretty quick. Uh, now, they're bigger than the mail I used this year. They're not used bigger, um, but I've got that male coming that I was going to bring to you that's a horse, yeah. <laughs> except, I mean, his comb is six points, um, gorgeous comb, his type is dorking and he's going to be you. What more could you want? Well. What he doesn't have is clean white hackle and saddle. Every freaking feather has a back. His daddy didn't have that. None of the females show a sign of it, but there it is. He's bigger than any of his brothers. So, so I guess the answer is no. Well, we're close oh, enough here. At least we can trade back. He knows I'm not a ticket. I just get happy with whatever I said. Right. Well, then you probably want this one. I like him, but I also like him with width on that. I didn't handle them and didn't make your decision. But I do like, this guy just seems overall bigger. Um, well, he is bigger. But can you run back and get the skin? Do you know where it is? He's not going to the library. It's hanging right by the light switch. switch. It's the blue hanging scale. Okay. So we got at least from the same thing. We're all the same thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and grab that my big red male. He's not going anywhere. I just want y'all to see him. <laughs> Did we weigh these guys? How much? We haven't yet. No, we can't. They they weigh, yeah, they weigh 14. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun, I figured. You, know. you do some pot, sometimes find chicken raisins like that. You're not a troublemaker. <laughs> oh no, no trouble Trey. That's his nickname. No trouble Trey. Um, it's a real. You ever use one of these? No, not electric. I can tell it's you as easy as pie. On, yeah. <laughs> Tear it with the hook on. Hey, I got to do it all down here because I know when I get up there, the good Lord ain't gonna put up with that shit. I guess you never tear it. You never tear it. Come upside down, and I just wrap that around there. You go through like that. That's exactly what I do. 
saw something where they used some sort of golf ball. I'm like, I don't like that. That's so that's one, that's a perfectly good waste of a good golf ball. I don't golf, but I know they're expensive. And two, that's just going to fall apart. I just know that's just going to fall apart and that bird's going to go fly in. And escape. He's six states away from home. <laughs> I'm finding I'm not the most experienced videographer here. Oh, well, we get in your way. It's fine. I'm like such a, such a greenhorn at this. Yep. Right on there. You're going to have, have lots of video from the day. You're but maybe the best we got. I don't yeah. know. I, 7 2. I, doesn't suck. No, it doesn't suck. With, no, I'd see, like a larger. Should we try the slate over here? Yeah, sure. Well, see, now he says 7 4. I'm going to say 7 3. How about that? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> when you get down to that, it's like, did they eat one more piece of grain that day? <laughs> Got the double spurs to get over. Yeah. <laughs> Seven two. Okay. That surprises me. I thought he was heavier than this guy when I handled him first. Well, we're going to say seven because these last three times it said, yeah, we're just going to say seven because two of them weighed six, eight. Simple average. But I mean, that's, he's still, and maybe he's just not in good condition. Well, he also hasn't eaten much in the last couple of days, but neither is this one. He yeah. feels big, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, why don't we weigh these other silver grays? The tray. But then you should get the Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. Really? Yeah, 6'2". But, the scales don't lie, but there's a thing to be said about type and, and width, etc. Yeah, they were like my favorite this small. And like other birds that type. Yeah. Oh, no wonder. Yeah. You know, but yeah. he, he would try to breathe, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't pull and get on. Yeah. You know? Oh. Some roosters, they get on and they like. Yeah. You, you, should have, you should have AI'd that bird because he was incredible. If yeah. it's the same one as I saw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tiny, tiny testicles. Uh, like golden. Yes. Yeah. I think like, I like, like, like this thing. Yeah, he's holding me off. Like he's a fucker, but he yeah. wasn't perfect. Yeah, I kept him around with a mascot for a while. Like, everybody's got to look like him. He was mm -hmm. sort of a, Sometimes you need he, those mascots just, to inspire he's you. He's the standard, you know, kind of, you know. What did he weigh? Six and a half. How old are these, or do you know, Craig? They're last year's. Okay. Except for so the they're, they're, probably, they're probably done with growing by now. <laughs> He didn't feel quite as big. I mean, that's not his best thing. But he's nice. Thing. I, I always figure if there's any gorgings around, probably for a part of my life, hopefully not all of my life, that if I see some, I advantage to take them home. Yeah. I better take them yeah. home. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> this doesn't happen every year. You can always get rid of it, but you can't always just go out and get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. If it's crap or not, yeah, if it's got five toes, it's worth taking home. Uh, That is one thing I stuck with. My grandpa told me, he said, the time to buy something is when you see it. What do you oh, my. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like even in the last month, they yeah, got He looks like a door. Oh. Holding? Yeah, yeah. It's one that weighs almost 10 pounds. He's sharp. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, people <coughs> often call. It's not the best phone. Yeah, yeah but it is. Six months. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then again, I wish his colors like, were a little similar, similar, but yeah. got the white I've got the hair. Look at the hair. Look at the hair. Yeah. So, do you see these? Yeah. So, yeah. Craig. Yeah. Uh, Good hair feathers there. Craig, talk about hair feathers for a second. Well. <laughs> and they've been considered a breed characteristic of the Dorgins for centuries. Blanchins have them, but not much else. Uh, Lewis Lentz always said that if you found hair feathers on a chicken, there was a dorking behind the neck. 
I've mm-hmm. seen them on some show Black Menorah good. I mean, no, not show Black <laughs> or- <laughs> Black Orpingtons. I've seen them on it on, and I've noticed them on like Catalinas. Oh, and I, and I, yeah, and maybe my Rans every now and again. Red, red roosters. Yeah. So this, this guy, this is he's out of. He's out of my colored mate. But he's not a dark red. I don't know. Well, if he's out of your colored mate, he's probably going to have some dark red characteristics. He's certainly got a lot of more hair feathers, striping here. but he doesn't have much striping. So, going to have a lot of hair feathers. Um, you don't like this point that's the double point there. And you know, he, there's a chance he's out of that big red male, but it's unlikely he's probably out of the colored. But looking at his toenails, he might be out of that red male. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> my colors have white nails. So you do toe punching? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So on him, so I'll show you the difference. I, this year, I, I, I always, I, I do it to denote, to denote family and age. This hatch gets one, this hatch gets another, so I know how old they are. Yeah. So I started on the outside end, so he, this is not to open this is not that is. Do you see the difference? He blew it out, like it should just be a perfect little hole punch. Yeah. Some of them will see that it hasn't blown out. Oh, on that little webbing there. Uh, so that's yeah, right. yeah. Okay. It, it should be a perfect hole. It should be a perfect hole. But, but you still, still work. You know, yeah, I, I, can, I know that. You know, uh, uh, on just one of the feet? Or both ones? You can do 16 uh, different coats on a, on a chick. You can do none to all the all, way. All, 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 Different combinations. Yep. Yeah. Um, you do that too. Just yeah. Like, okay. you have to uh, it'll it'll really help you identify chicks. You can do it from day. I just take do it right out of the breeder. Uh, I, I mean, I pull them out of the hat. This part, Cameron. This part here. It's called the cape. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's it's mostly black. Yeah. I mean, I've got the standard here. We can tell you exactly what it says. And you've got you've got your your what is this the wing bow here? Yep. And your coverts are down here. And Dylan, when did the eagle nest come? Dick Horseman. So there, he, so he think bought Dick Horseman's yeah. birds. Okay. Because I know Dick Horseman sold out of them. Five months now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dick Horseman cockles. That. It's a little tough. It's not really loosey goosey. But the point. Yeah. Pretty even. Yeah. The points are even. Yes. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of when he got yeah. in. Alright. You know, I want you to take home a couple of reds. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think as this, as this comb matures, I think that comb will be alright. Okay. Yeah. L- look. Just give no it some double time. points. So now... He's been in a breed pen with a couple other. He's just I consolidated him all. So he's been with other males, all the females, and he doesn't quite have. He's big, but he's higher. Like for example, than that red. Right. So he's, he's big. He's higher. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. You see what I mean? Oh yeah. Now, he stands, he stands I, I suspect if you stretch them out, yeah. his legs would be a little longer, but mostly because he's a bigger bird. Right. If you took this bird and that bird. Their legs are probably the same length, but if you want them down at the hop, that's a brief characteristic. Yes. And down at, like, kind of cu- hop. Well, what it is, <coughs> a leghorn <coughs> has a leg. It's not longer than a dorky, but they stand with their hocks locked. The dorkies stand with their hocks Okay. okay. Like, right, so it's really how they stand almost. Yes. How they carry themselves. Right, so, and you want them to do it that way. Some colors in the the dark red. Wolf is black and black. Yeah, they call it a 
Yeah, because we get a